Hello and welcome to the Cisco training video on the Cisco Power Tool. This tool is used to return the faulty Cisco items that have been replaced by the RMA process. You can reach this tool by going to www.cisco-global-returns.com To begin, you will need to log in. For best results, use the RMA login option. To do this, enter the RMA number the email address that you use for your cisco.com profile and the text displayed. If you do not know what the RMA number is, you can find this by looking in your Cisco service request in which the RMA was raised. Make sure you read and agree to the terms before clicking login. Hit the request pickup button. When it's finished loading, click the Switch to Advanced Search button. With the RMA number already entered, click Search and you should see a result appear in the bottom section. Select it using the tick box and then click Next to continue. You will then be taken to this page. In the top left section, enter your company details. If you are a Cisco employee and filling this out on behalf of the customer, then enter the customer's company name and address. In the requester section, enter your own personal contact details. In the Pickup Contact section, enter the details of the person who has the return package in their possession. If you physically have the package, then you can use the Copy Requester Contact button to save you filling out the same information twice. Please also provide an alternative contact. These details will be used if the courier is unable to get hold of the primary contact when they arrive. If there is no one else who would be able to assist the courier, then enter the same details for these fields. There is also a special instructions field where you can enter any other necessary information that may be helpful. An example could be that if a pickup is required from an unmanned data centre, the courier may need to contact someone either prior to arrival or on arrival in order to gain access to the site. When you are finished, click Next to continue. The next page should list all items that are being returned automatically. In this case, it is just one item. If this does not match the parts you are expecting, ensure you are using the correct RMA number at the start of the tool. If you are 100% sure you are using the right number, then please do not proceed any further and contact the Asset Recovery team using the link at the top of the page. If you have multiple items, you can choose whether you are sending them all back in a single package or splitting them into multiple packages. Tick the items and select the appropriate button. In cases such as this one, where we only have one item, you will always select the one package option. If you were to split items into different packages, you would see different package numbers displayed in the right hand column. Make sure all items have a package number listed in this column before clicking next. The next page shows the dimensions of the package. The system will automatically estimate these and they only need to be an approximation. You can adjust these if necessary by simply clicking and overwriting the values. If you do change the values, you will now need to click the Refresh Carrier Services button. Here, you should select the date that you want the courier to pick up your package. You can also specify if you would prefer an afternoon or a morning slot. 
Be sure to also select the special equipment options if appropriate. Click confirm to complete the process. On the final screen, select and click print labels. Attach these labels to the package prior to the courier's arrival. If you are filling this out on behalf of someone else and they need to print and attach the labels, then click the email labels box and enter your email address. You can then forward the email you receive to the necessary people. You have now completed the process. Thank you for watching this training video.